so it's been a good while since I've done a sit down video which is what I say every single time but <clears throat> if you can't tell I'm a little sick I know everyone says that before they start a video my hands are white my face is orange <clears throat> what's new it's not that profesh I don't really have a full face of makeup on just have kind of like natural makeup even though it probably doesn't look like it my skin's struggling at the moment and it looks disgusting let's ignore that because today's video is so exciting um, i'm actually working with maybelline in this video and you'll see why in a few moments it's actually like the most exciting thing i've ever like i freaked out when i got it in the mail so i'm going to show you in a sec but i thought i would show you what i've gotten from i think there's kmart and princess polly and like cotton on and factory and stuff because I did a big like online order and this is what I got so first from Kmart I got two things um, well I actually got three things I got another pair of work shoes I got a pair of work socks well three pairs and I also got this <clears throat> Garnier Sunday detox thing that has three masks in it it's got a green tea mask which is just a full face one, a black algae one, which is again a full face, and then a coconut water one, which is just your eyes, like around your eyes, which I thought would be fun. They sold this for $9, and normally a mask by itself is like $5, like one of these Hydra Bomb ones. And I really wanted to, to try the Hydra Bomb masks, but I was like, $5 for a face mask that I'll use once? No. But then I also was looking at getting a Sephora face mask, which are like five plus dollars so yeah i don't know i contradict myself sometimes i'm a bit stingy and other times i'm like oh my god let's just go all out it just depends like yeah anyway i'm excited to try these but now on to clothes i'm kind of doing this in a weird order it's not going to be a try on haul i'm sorry i'm just so not in the mood do you know what i mean and i've already tried all these on <laughs> and i've already sorted out which ones i'm sending back and stuff so yes anyways i got this skirt it's a mini skirt it has a zip detailing down the front and it has all these lovely colors like lovely i guess like autumn colors it's like red a bit of purple in there or if that's just the light i don't know orange and like white and i love the tartan pattern as well this is called the darwin mini skirt red that's the back of it it fits lovely like it fits really really well so was quite happy with that the next one is another skirt and it looks like this it is gorgeous it is black with red flowers on it and it's just so cute and it's a mini skirt as well um this one's called the amada mini skirt and yeah people on like on the reviews were saying it's too short i think it's quite nice for a mini skirt um i wouldn't be like wearing it somewhere where you have to bend down a lot so yeah but if it's just for like a night out or something or like a special occasion it's really cute so i really like it the next skirt <laughs> is this one probably my favorite that's why it's already on the hanger um it is just a I'm pretty sure it's black it's black on like, I mean, it's like an orangey red, which is what the um, stripes are, on like black. And it's like this, um, like, really soft material. Like this one obviously is like a silky kind of material. And the other one's just like fabric. But this one's like soft. I don't know what it is. But um, this one's called the Fike Mini Skirt in Charcoal pretty this one fits more like a skater skirt and it's quite flattering so love that the next thing from princess polly is this top so it's called the baby spice top and it's just it's just mesh um it's long sleeves and then it has these like feathery kind of um i'm really bad with my words today it's like these feathery kind of sleeves on both sleeves obviously both armholes <laughs> um yeah really cute and you'd wear like a bandeau or like a really nice bra underneath i don't know the last thing i no the second last thing i got from princess polly was this black really cropped jumper it's called the thorpe jumper and that's what it looks like 
round neck, really baggy like balloon sleeves and really cropped too so it's really nice with high waisted um, jeans. The last thing from Princess Polly is this dress which is quite odd considering we're in winter but it's okay because um, I'd layer this so it's just this like slip dress and it has a slit there and I'm not sure if it has it on this side no but um yeah I love the neckline I like that it's square and the back just looks like that it's quite like a mini dress um but I'd wear like a turtleneck underneath because I'm obsessed with that look and like a belt to cinch it in because it's quite boxy if you just wear it like that so these are the jeans that I got from Cotton On they are mum jeans and I love this washer denim. The colour is so lovely. And they just go down, obviously. And I already rolled it up a little bit. But they kind of like fray at the bottom. And that's the back. They fit so well. Like, so well. And they're so, like, nicely high-waisted. I'm just obsessed. So, yeah. They are called the Mum Jean in Berkeley Blue. Beautiful. Love that. The next thing I got was this black high neck jumper. It's from like the factory section of Cotton On and it's just a bit cropped and I got it in a size large because I like everything to be super comfy. Why would you buy something and have it be like real tight if it's like a jumper? You know what I mean? The last thing I got, which I really doesn't suit me, I was going to say I really don't like, but it's more because it doesn't suit me, um, is this jumper and it's from Supre. It's just like a white like cable kind of knit jumper but these things just like never fit nice on me and it's really sad because I literally own like all of my clothes are black so I try to branch out and that's what happens to me which is so much fun but um yeah whoa that is the clothes portion of my haul done now I'm going to show you what Maybelline kindly like so kindly gifted to me um I got those lipsticks as you as you may have seen in my last like vlog haul type of video um which was so freaking kind of them I was like oh my god cool and that's all I was expecting like I wasn't expecting anything else but then today we get home from shopping and there's this like package on the doorstep and I was like all my clothes came like earlier this week I was like I didn't order anything else and then I was like, holy crap, in the back of my mind, I was like, oh my god, what if they sent me more things? And just my luck, they did. Just my luck is kind of negative. I didn't mean it negatively. But <laughs> they sent me more stuff. And I'm not here to like brag or anything. I just want to show you guys because, oh my god, some of the stuff that they gifted me, I'm just like, wow, thank you. Because I was looking into getting more makeup. I just didn't know what to buy. And now I have heaps to try out. And I'm really excited. Okay. So. First off. How lovely is the box? Oh my god. So official. And then when you open the box. There was a note inside. And it said. Hey Bianca. Loving your haul videos on YouTube. Especially your latest one with Made For All lipstick. It was sensational. Love team Maybelline. And it's handwritten. That's insane to me that someone actually took the time out of their day and wrote this. Anyway, then you've got all of this like packing paper thing. So inside, oh my God, guys. <laughs> I actually like was freaking out. I was going to cry like on the um, kitchen bench. <laughs> so I'll just pull out things at random. So the first thing I see is this Maybelline Baby Lips. Um, oh my God, Nourishing Mango. So it's a 12 hour moisture and has spf 20 instant hydration with two times more centella essence nourishing mango i honest to god i have never tried the baby lips from them and i am obsessed with um lip balm so there we go i'm so excited to try that and to smell it yay the next thing i see i'm just gonna shove this there is the full and soft thick and healthy mascara by maybelline then I have this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Product in Philosopher. This colour is so funky. Let's swatch. Pretty. The next thing is the one I was so excited about. Like when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. Um, <laughs> the Burgundy Bar Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like there. How beautiful are all the colours. Okay, next up. We've got the Maybelline New York City Bronzer. Bronzer and contour powder. 
I am obsessed with bronzer. Then we've got the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray up to 16 hour matte finish. Oh, we've got a lipstick. This one's in 379 Fuchsia for me. Now I'm not even going to bother trying to open this because I'm going to end up wrecking the packaging. Kind of color. You can see the color from the packaging. So next we have this foundation. It's the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation plus Hydrating Serum. This one is in the color Nude. I don't know if this is going to be my right shade. I hope it is. It looks a little bit too light, but we shall see. I have never tried this foundation before. So I'm really excited. The next foundation is the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This one's in 28 soft beige. Never tried this one either. So oh, I'm actually like overwhelmed. Um, the next lip product is the same formula as the purple one I showed you. Um, but this one is in 50 Voyager. It's like a really dark red, which is absolutely beautiful. I used to live in dark lip colors and now I literally don't wear lipstick anymore. And then we've got this blush. Like, I already use one of their blushes on a daily basis. But that one is in Coral. So that's that one. And then that's the one that I got. And I'm so excited to freaking try another blush. I never ever used to wear blush. And now I'm obsessed. Then I got the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Light. And I was so excited to get this because I was actually going to get one today. And I didn't. So yay. So we got this Maybelline Tattoo Brow 3 Day Gel Tint. That's what that looks like. I'm not sure if I'm grey brown though, so I don't know if that's going to work on me. Um, but we shall see. And we've got this fancy looking lipstick. This one is in Baddest Beige. Oh my god, the formula. That's what it looks like right there. The next thing I have is the Maybelline New York Concealer. The Fit Me Concealer in Fair Claire. I actually use this concealer on a day-to-day -day basis. I have one closer to my skin tone, but this one's good for under your eyes. But the one closer to my skin tone I use to cover up some pimples before I put on foundation. And then the last thing is the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Old favorite, such a good mascara. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Um, okay, that is the end. I'm pretty sure they didn't give me anything else. Did I miss anything? No? Good? Okay. I just wanted to say thank you so much again to Maybelline for sending me these things. I am so, so grateful. Um, thank you guys so much for watching as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I keep forgetting this. Watch it on this hand and I keep rubbing it. Um, comment, subscribe. Please keep watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. Ah, thank you. <laughs> See you guys later.